Uh, we can see that there are lots of application of microjoining in uh, several medical devices and we find out that typical micro welding process all associated with the laser micro welding processes and most of the cases. Now, we will try to look into that what are the advances in laser micro welding process which can be used and a very specific application that we will try to look into that one of them is that that is called shadow technique. Shadow technique is full from is uh, here uh, stepless high speed accurate and discrete one pulse welding. It is simply conversational macro spot welding to the uh, linear micro welding process. So, it is like that only by utilizing the optimum length of the pulse duration. So, how it works we can see that most of the cases the shadow technique has been developed using the diode pump laser normally typically used and mainly applicable for the metallic materials. So, simple application we can see that welding of the watch components and uh, we can find out the application of this shadow technique. But how it works if you look into this picture we can see that first one is the pulse mode welding also, but uh, in this case it is a pot welding overlapping of the spot and the surface appearance does not seem okay or good. And pulse energy is around uh, we can see that uh, 27 joule and pulse power peak power can be used 300 watt similarly some frequency is there and the pulse duration or um, even velocity also there and even that is the velocity is 300 millimeter per minute. So, in that condition we can see simply overlapping of the pulse already it is joining, but the appearance is very bad in this uh, sense. But now the same um, uh, laser uh, can be converted to in the in the shadow technique in such a way that that utilize this duration of the one single pulse duration which pulse on time then expand these things over the substrate material but at very high speed that means such that total pulse duration can be used but at the same time within that duration it will cover in certain distance then the appearance of the surface can be very uh, good also as compared to the what we used earlier so uh, that is called the shadow technique simple pulse laser can be converted to the uh, shadow technique. We can see the right hand side figure also in this case is Q equal to 9 joule only pulse shape definitely pulse welding use and pulse duration 20 millisecond and V f is very high 30 meter per minute until we can see the appearance and the total length uh, over which the energy is laser energy is deposited it seems very smooth as compared to the what was the earlier. So, this is called the simple called the shadow technique we normally used in the um, uh, metallic uh, materials. There are other advances also in laser micro welding that is one of them is the laser droplet welding. Uh, in this case laser droplet welding uh, overcome the gap bridging it is a gap between these two components of a situation or some devices it is like that only or highly reflective material and high heat sensitive material. In that particular situation the laser droplet welding can be used to join the to micro component. So, in this case what way you can what way it works is the liquid metal droplet is created and that exactly droplet is projected on the particular position uh, at the end of the wire by the pulse laser. So, by using the pulse energy or during the pulse uh, uh, energy uh, period there is a, a droplet transfer happens and droplet is transported to particular or projected to a particular position such that some specific welding for example, very high heat sensitive material and there is a gap between these two components is, uh, is there such that two metals can be joined using this droplet. But there are several phases uh, for droplet creation. Uh, in this case the laser all energy not directly used uh, uh, for the um, creation of the droplet. The, in this cases the optical beam can be splitted in the uh, three different split beam can be created and uh, wire feed system is also required. A target positioning system. So, wh where the droplet has to be transport at this point that positioning system is re required at the same time laser welding associated some amount of the sealing gas supply and of course, mechanical positioning system such that the droplet can be exactly positioned in the particular position uh, in the required position. So, there are 5 phases first is droplet creation we can so see that how the power varies with respect to time in this particular process. So, doublet creation by melting at the um, uh, by using some wire in this case. So, that maximum power can be used here. Then droplet detachment once the droplet created then detachment of the droplet has to be there. Then droplet flight. So, droplet can transport from, uh, from the detachment at the end of the wire to a particular position. Then droplet landing is a, at which point droplet is landing or the substrate material after landing the in proper position 
then after solidification happens. So, these are the typical 5 pages are involved in the laser droplet welding process and we can see that how power varies with respect to time also. Once the droplet creation by melting then move to the position then requirement of power is very less and, and um, then over a short span of time the droplet is detached means power requirement is very less such that droplet can be detached from the uh, solid wire then it is transported to the particular position. So, this is the typical nature of the power versus time in this particular laser droplet welding process. Application stainless steel, titanium and stainless steel of 2 micrometer thick and 2 mi 200 micrometer gap. So, if 200 micrometer thickness steel and in that case is if you want to join if there is a 200 micrometer gap this is a big enough as compared to the thickness of the material and that may be significant in case of the micro welding application. So, in that case 200 micrometer is a huge gap and that kind of uh, situation can be handled by using the laser droplet welding process. Similarly, other also laser spike welding that is also has also been developed in the for the micro welding application. In this case gaps in micro welding is problematic definitely it is always problematic and able to join even there is a gap that means this is also one kind of the if there is a gap then using the laser spike welding the joint uh, metals can be joined together. In this case recoil pressure driven material flow to bridge the gaps in the lap joint configuration. So, this particular process is mainly developed in case of the lap joint configuration is there the suit to seat can be joined together simply so by using the recoil driven material flow on the top surface and that will bridge the gap between these two components. It is a simply if in the lap joint configuration if two seats are there, but if there is a some gap between these two seats. So, we, we try to make on the top top layer melt it and then create the recoil pressure such that they will the molten material from the top layer it will attach to the uh, bottom layer. It is a kind of then two materials can be joined in this cases even there is a gap between these two seats. So, melting using low power in the upper layer conduction mode and alloy sufficient large or completely penetrated well because upper layer has to be in such a way that complete penetration should happen in this cases. Then increase the laser power to generate the sufficient recoil pressure such that gap can be uh, the gap between these two can be um, filled uh, by using the uh, molten material. So, diaphragm light liquid pool is basically contact uh, with the lower layer. So, it is a kind of diaphragm some curvature has been created by using the from top layer and that it is contact with the bottom layer. So, addition like the via either superficial surface melting or bridge like addition can also be possible. So, in principle the join can be done what which principle the bridging normally happens. So, that is why bridge like join can be possible using this laser spike welding process. Uh, lower surface clean the bridge like addition is there if the surface clean is not good enough then lower layer is too conductive then it is very difficult to join. So, if lower layer is too conductive then heat will be conducted A then very difficult to join in this in this particular process. These are the two issues associated with this process even application stainless steel 200 micrometer thick in lap joint configuration can be joined using the laser spike welding process. Similarly, other advancement also happens in the laser micro welding process and that is normally associated with the uh, polymeric material that is called the twist technology. Twist technology is a transmission welding by an incremental scanning technique. So, in this case high beam energy uh, like fiber laser and may be used and easy, easy degradation of the thermoplastic material and the normally happens using this fiber laser. But in this case fast rotating and the slow linear motion of the focused high quality laser beam such that if you look into this figure the beam can be deflected away in such a way that it is not exactly moving you know one, one linear path rather, uh, rather the beam can move uh, with respect the zigzag way. So, therefore, both local and temporal laser beam modulation strategy has to be adopted in this case of the twist technology and dynamic periodic beam deflection is uh, normally applied to control the fusion and solidification. So, once dynamic periodic beam deflection is associated with such that uh, solidification can be controlled in this cases. If there is a voids and porosity can be reduced by using this uh, technique and even formation of the sharp oil seam can also be avoided because formation of the sharp oil seam it is a continuously move in particular uh, in a scanning path in a linear straight scanning, scanning path. So, sharp interruption can produce, but rather in this case if the beam is deflected in such a way that it will cover 
the zigzag way then bonding between the two surfaces uh, can be uh, well enough uh, such that distortion can be minimized in this particular uh, process. So, that is called the twist technology and this welding of the transparent polymers without any absorbing additives can be used because actually it is a variant of the laser transmission welding and which is normally used for the polymeric material. In this cases the uh, laser light is transparent to the particular polymer then it is very difficult to make the absorption of the laser and interface. But once we develop the twist technology instead of looking moving in a particular linear path if it is it is possible to follow some kind of the zigzag path then absorptivity of the laser may happen at the interface of even for a transparent material or for a particular laser light. So, that is why this without using any additive absorbing additives at the interface between the two, two surfaces this kind of laser this uh, technology can be used the absorption of the laser and making the variation of the laser transmission welding. Of course, the mostly it is applied in case of the in for micro welding component micro welding purposes. So, thank you very much uh, for your kind attention and we have actually discussed on the um, last part the simply advancement of the several uh, laser welding processes. Now, we will try to see the uh, remaining part of the module maybe you can say the last part of the module 1 um, that is to some extent related to the uh, additive manufacturing technologies. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.